All right, hi everyone. Um, welcome to a quick thoughts on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, it's like a thoughts on video I usually do, except way more condensed. Um, I just beat the game tonight on uh, Tuesday night, it's Wednesday now, but you know. And um, I just gotta say, I, first off, my anticipation for this game was pretty low. Um, it is it was pretty modest, I should say, because I had read interviews and, and uh, glimpsed parts of the gameplay, and Respawn had said that with this game, they were taking inspiration from Metroid and um, Dark Souls, both in the level design and just the, the general, uh, like the combat of the game and whatnot. And those inspirations were very clear to see from the demos they showed off and the varying gameplay. But... And I thought all that was cool, but on some level, I don't think I really wanted to ever embrace the game because subliminally, I was still really, really rubbed the wrong way by how EA has handled the Star Wars license the last few years, particularly with the Battlefront games. Um, but let me just say, as someone who boycotted both <laughs> EA Battlefront games on launch um, and was hesitant to even buy this game outright just because i was so bothered by those past you know the experience with those past games i was floored by this game now i don't want to say i was floored in the same way that a game like god of war floored me because that game i walked in expecting one of the great the best games of the year and i got one of the best games i ever played period fallen order Again, modest expectations, but when I walked out of the experience, I, I can't deny that I was impressed and just unprepared for the experience at just about every turn. Um, the game never really has a dull moment. Even moments that I think some would consider slow on the surface are um, enraptured by the sense of exploration. This game has such an incredible sense of exploration. Um, just from the level design alone, which I've already mentioned was Metroidvanian. Um, at times, it feels a lot like an Uncharted game or a Tomb Raider game. Heck, I would even argue that this game... I haven't had a sense of exploration in a game that has felt so strong since Uncharted 4, which is a high praise. That's high praise. Because um, even the Tomb Raider games, I feel like, are edged out by the sense of exploration that this game provides. Um, it's it's incredible, and I guess it makes sense because the team, the studio that Respawn formed for this game, are it's it's a, an ensemble of industry veterans who've worked on Tomb Raider and Dark Souls and all these other games that this game sort of draws inspiration from. Um, but I just was not prepared for how all those things work together because beyond just being a really damn good Star Wars game. This is a really good video game made by people who love video games. The game is filled with mechanics from Dark Souls, God of War, um, Uncharted. It has all these moments that clearly you can see are from other games, but the way they work together here feels really authentic and it feels really appreciative. And um, I, I think beyond that, it just really, really works for the whole experience they're providing. That's not to say the game is perfect. Um, there are a, quite a few issues with it that I have um, for one is the combat definitely of all souls like combat systems that have come out of uh, various AAA games over the last few years this game definitely tries to imitate Dark Souls the most and I think it, it, it they shouldn't have followed it so closely to a T because the controls are slightly remapped to I guess give you uh, sort of synergy with your force powers but it, it sort of ends up feeling kind of I don't know it, just not as pinpoint as you'd like it sometimes or even at times near the end of the game I was still getting used to aspects of the controls that um, I had spent hours and hours with and I still wasn't finding an appropriate use for some of those controls for instance one of them is you have the ability to dodge via jumping um, by hitting X in combat. Like, you can basically do a flip, but then you can also hit circle. This is on PS4 controller. You can hit circle and do, like, a sidestep dodge, or you can double-tap it and do a roll dodge. So you have three different dodges, and it just feels like a 
like one too many dodges to worry about now again this is just relative to my experience so some people might play this game and go oh combat felt perfect but for me it felt like some things in the controls could have been moved around and it would have been to the game's benefit um other than that the parkour it's very fun seeing you jump around as a jedi but um <laughs> there is a bit of a problem with uh, the certainty of actually grabbing onto objects when you jump towards them in a game like uncharted or tomb raider when you jump towards an object from another object say from a ledge to another ledge or from like part of a rocky cliff to another part of rocky cliff there is an assured level of certainty that you're actually going to grab onto that edge assuming you're pressing the right quick time event or you have the right tool or whatever this game it's hit or miss sometimes when you jump from one ledge to another you're not really sure if you're actually going to make it or sometimes you'll do it and then the game won't like latch you onto the ledge it's really weird it's it's kind of weird um but again i think with that and with the combat those are both things that they can improve in the sequel which will definitely happen i don't mean to say that because i, I don't want to imply anything about the story of the game or anything but this is star wars first off and this is the only single player star wars title that ea has right now at a time when people are in demand of more single player experiences and this game offers that so you bet your you bet your ass <laughs> there's going to be another sequel to this and that means there's opportunities for them to sort of build upon what they have here other than that level design superb sense of exploration great there's puzzles in the game they're all really good they're just they're they're fun to solve they're challenging but they're fun to solve the game itself is very very challenging um don't knock stormtroopers until you try swinging at them and get shot 500 times and i think of anything else of anything else that i can say about the game in regards to the story without spoiling anything i don't think there's been a piece of star wars media in the new canon and maybe in the expanded universe before disney you know bought, bought star wars and wiped away all the the expanded universe canon i don't think there's been a piece of media that has more i think accurately and emotionally and effectively represented what it probably felt like to be a jedi during or post revenge of the sith in the gap between revenge of the sith and new hope i don't think there's a game or a movie or a show or or anything has done a better job of just putting you in the headspace of a surviving jedi literally ba basically someone who's being persecuted who's being hunted across the earth the, the galaxy as a fugitive because of their beliefs because of their powers and because of what they stand for and at times the game is heartbreaking because of that it, it does a fantastic job sort of putting you in this emotional center um with the main character um who's great by the way he, he he's a little hard to get used to but the more you play the game the more he grows on you that's that's enough about the story i've i, I don't want to say anything more for fear of spoiling there's a lot of really cool things in this story let me just say as a star wars fan holy shit i feel extremely validated i feel validated in a way that a lot of the current star wars films and shows aside from the mandalorian aren't really validating me you know me as a star wars fan this game wow i was floored um so yeah go and buy it it's worth 60 bucks if you haven't already bought it buy it you have my endorsement the guy who didn't buy battlefront one or two unlaunched because he hated what ea did with those games in terms of both the design of battlefront one and the business decisions that marred the launch of battlefront two i'm telling you to go out and buy this game it's brilliant it's fantastic it probably won't be my game of the year but it will be a lot higher than i was expecting it to before i went in all right that's all i gotta say thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe to this channel i upload vods for my twitch streams and i'll be uploading my vods for my fallen order playthrough very soon along with two months of streams that i just have been uploading because i'm lazy and busy what a contradiction all right guys thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. Peace out.